Hello and welcome to PLZ Soccer. This is your Scottish Evening News Bulletin on Monday. Dundee United defender Ryan Edwards will wait to hear if the compliance officer Claire White charges him with dangerous play after a challenge on the injured Alfredo Morelos. Now Edwards followed through with a clearance and caught Morelos' thigh which forced the Colombian off the pitch in the second half. Jers boss Steven Gerrard didn't brand it a red card challenge but he clearly felt it was not a clean tackle. In terms of the, the tackle I've got nothing to say on it. Um, you know, Kevin's made the decision. Um, he's had a better view of it than me. Um, you know, I've seen it again after the game. Um, I think Kevin, once he sees it, will be probably disappointed in the decision. But that's life. We we, we get on with it. After the game, Jared admitted that he may be forced to enter the transfer market with all of their injury concerns. And Daniel Johnson appears to be the Jers' number one target. Now, the 27-year-old midfielder scored 12 times for Preston in the Championship last campaign, and he only has one year left on his contract. He was also left out of the Preston squad by manager Alex Neal at the weekend, leading Ibrox bosses to believe they could capture the Jamaican for around £2 million. Israel do not expect any problems with next month's Euro 2020 playoff semi-final against Scotland at Hamden, despite a new national lockdown. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu announced new restrictions from Friday for at least three weeks, but the game is still scheduled to go ahead. And Aberdeen's potential Europa League opponents have been struck with three positive COVID tests, halting their pre-season preparations. Now, Sporting Lisbon were meant to play in Napoli in a friendly yesterday, but it was cancelled. So the Portuguese outfit begin their campaign on Saturday instead at home to Gil Vicente before facing the winner of the Dons match with Viking in 10 days' time. Thank you for watching and don't forget you can like, share and subscribe on our Facebook, YouTube and Twitter channels, which is where you can also catch up with The Football Show. It's on every day at four and they discuss all today's stories with the panel and exclusive guests.